for your permission, ma'am, sir, 9-11. Thank you. Everybody got this is an uncontestable fact. Go to Google. Research this if you want. Three days into Obama's presidential administration, he's condoning missile strikes in Pakistan. Okay? According to international law, that's an act of preemptive war. Okay? What a lot of people don't understand is the Nazis at Nuremberg, they were not tried for genocide. They were tried and convicted for preemptive war. Okay? It's a crime punishable by death. Okay? The world will know us and remember us throughout throughout echoes of history as the Nazis of the 21st century if we sat on our lazy intellectual butts and do nothing, okay? These elite scumbag bankers that have actually hijacked our country, they need our acquiescence. They need us to go along. They need us as wage slaves. 9-11 was an inside job. 9-11 was a carefully orchestrated psychological attack against the American people to turn us into wage slaves with guns in our hands, willing to fight in wars we don't want anything to do with. Think about it. So why did we invade that country? Why are we still invading that country? Another thing, we're always told in the news that there's a war in Iraq. Oh, how's the war in, the, war, war in Iraq going? There is no war in Iraq. I'll say that again. There is no war in Iraq. In order for there to be a war, the other side, the other country, has to have an army. These sick and dying first responders have families, and none of them are being helped. We consider them to be heroes. They truly helped our country in time of need, and we are doing nothing to help them as a country. Our group supports them. Our profits go to help the 9-11 sick and dying first responders. Obama is still not helping them. Obama promised to bring the troops home. There are still thousands of troops in other countries. He sent 300,000 troops to Afghanistan. There are people that are coming home. Our sons, our daughters, our brothers, our sisters, our fathers. And they are fighting for a war that was unnecessary. And they are continuing to fight in wars that are unnecessary. Obama promised to bring the troops home, and the troops are still in other countries. They are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. People wake up with nightmares from the stuff that they experience in other countries. It is unpatriotic for us to send our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, and our family members over to experience and, and, and really be part of mass murder. It's, it's really a terrible experience. Obama also promised to take away the Patriot Act, which allows them to go and monitor our phone calls, monitor things that we say and do on the internet. Obama promised to end the Patriot Act, and he signed it again. We are part of... We are part of the New World Order every day. Everything you do is because of mind control. And it's really time to start to wake up and realize what our country is doing. We need to defend the Constitution. We have rights as U.S. citizens. And we need to defend those rights. Men, women, black, white, orange, Latino, nosotros necesitamos defender la, la Constitución. Es un problema muy, muy, muy grande. No hay un